G'day there and welcome to another episode of The Couragepreneur and I've got the honour and privilege of interviewing the amazing Dr Doreen Dowling. So g'day Doreen, how are you? I'm fine and I love always the opportunity to speak with you. Your energy is bright and infectious. I ah, thank you and you're tuning in all the way from California, aren't you Doreen? Yes, just north of San Francisco here. I live uh, close to a mountain. It's called uh, Mount Tamalpais. I could look out my window and the sun is shining here right now. Yeah, yeah. And I love California. I mean, they say your heart in California. I uh, did 10 yeah. weeks. I spent 10 weeks there when I was working with California Conservation Corps all the way back in 1989. And that was actually when the quake was there, the 6.9 in 89. So yeah. I've got some wonderful memories and also some very interesting memories but yeah certainly love it and San Fran and um, Fisherman's Wharf and I uh, just love that vibe and actually I used to live in Mildura and it's based off a lot of Californian um, farming techniques so yeah I've certainly got a, a soft spot for California I love it. Mm. Good a sister. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, soul sister. So that's good. Now we connected through the 30 days of videos, Doreen, which is a, a I guess a program on um, LinkedIn that the awesome Rob Howes really instigated. And you've been doing incredible stuff there. But from that, we then jumped on a call. And you know, we just really have some I guess, deep connection on the mental health front. So I'd like to start off with asking you, Dory, what does courage mean to you? Oh, I love the word. I, you know, you read about it, you don't have courage unless you have fear. And as a psychologist, my business has always been about fear. And I think that uh, courage to me means uh, finding something within that helps you move forward and toward and again, my business is about helping people mm. actually go through the fear that they have about yeah. speaking and mm. to put on some performance technique is not the same thing as uh, walking toward and yeah. through fear. Mm. So yeah. I think, I think uh, that's what courage yeah, means. Yeah, it is. It, it, like I've got a, a plaque here on my desk and it's basically... Courage doesn't mean you don't have fear. It's just that you face that fear and you walk through it. So what was one time you were feeling less than courageous, Doreen, in your life? Well, depends on what year I, we <laughs> talked about. <laughs> exactly. Is there any one that comes to mind? Well, I would say that when I was confronted, because as a psychologist, working one-on-one -on -one, that was very easy for me but I had a fear of speaking in public believe it or not yes one-on-one -on -one, somebody sits down in my office I can work with them but put me in front of just even 10 people mm. I my heart would race and I would be terribly uh, nervous so uh, when a meeting planner asked me to present my research I said no I can't I'm afraid of speaking in public and it was pretty much the first time I ever said it and I must have been ready that the person said that doctor isn't fear your business yeah isn't that interesting like a psychologist who works with the mind has a fear of speaking and people fear I mean they fear a lot of things but we're really only born with two fears babies the fear of falling and the fear of loud noises however as adults we develop a lot of fears and two main fears one is the fear of dying the second one is the fear of public speaking so yes. a lot of people most people have that fear of public speaking and you know when you're talking about one to many and even jumping on a zoom can be fearful for some people so thank you so much for sharing that and I know we will dive a little bit more into your story um, as we progress but um, I, I talk about you know one time you were less than courageous Doreen but what's one time when you kind of felt so courageous and on top of the world and everything was just I guess rainbows and unicorns so what's one time you were feeling really courageous? Well I think that when I finally did take those classes and in fact you just I think did something pretty profound a second ago by talking about the two basic fears uh, when we're babies falling I think that it has something to do with public speaking, the falling apart, the falling down in front of your peers. I think that there might be some really primitive kind of 
fear that's going on in our psyches and and um, it has something to do with that that you just labeled so I just wanted to make a comment on oh I think I just made a connection there yeah. but back to back to a courageous moment was uh, in the first class that I took on overcoming your fear in San Francisco I picked you know a, a learning annex class and took it and there was a that night, the, the person said, uh, Michael Angelo chiseled. He saw the marble. Yeah, yeah. And mm. through the marble, he, he got to the angel. And that's because he saw mm. the angel in the marble. And I he just envisioned went, oh. it. Yeah. And, mm. and I know you're, you're asking, but that was a breakthrough moment for me. And wow. I just, oh, that's what I've done. I've put all this marble, all this PhD, yeah. all this academic stuff mm. on top me and inside is my true spirit it's a real doreen like peel yes. off the layers of the um psychologist um the onion skin of that and then peel back to the real core and i think covid to me has been such an amplifier it's drilled down to what's important i mean it's been an amplifier of the good and the bad but also it's really allowed people to shine and be their true authentic self and i love that i mean not taking aside the loss and this tragedy that has happened so that's really yeah and I love the analogy of Michelangelo I saw this um, post the other day of this like fallen tree and then there was a, a guy with it and then he'd carved it into an ocu uh, octopus and oh. you think oh my gosh that is vision so it's really drilling down to you know who you are and and yeah I love that because I guess you scrape off the layers of fear and you become courageous when you get to your authentic self so thanks so yeah. much for that and me being me, as I say, I have a courage acronym, Doreen. So our first letter in our courage acronym is C. So how do you best co connect and communicate with others? And this can be either personally or professionally. I think that communication, at least for me, obviously I was trained in it, is listening. And that's what I, I think that I bring to my work with people who are trying to overcome their fear is to really, you know, rather than say, hey, you could get over it. It's no, you know, just put it in perspective. You aren't going to die. But I go, oh, tell me more. Yeah. Tell me more. Tell me more. So the listening in a way that really acknowledges the truth of fear inside of people. So I think for me, connecting is about listening. Mm. And I love that because, um, you know, I always thought, oh, I'm ready to add value to the conversation and I'm thinking about what I'm going to say rather than being fully engaged in the in the person in what they're saying. And we may touch on this in relationships as well. But, yeah, we have two ears and one mouth. We really do need to use them in that order. And I heard a wonderful quote the other day, listen to understand, not to respond. And that was like, wow, that is so true. So, yeah, thank you so much, like listening. And it's such an art. And communication is a two-way street. So I absolutely love that. So our next letter, Doreen, is O for open heart or even open mind. What is an open heart or open mind to you? Oh, that's fascinating because I was just thinking about uh, communication that you were talking about and connecting and the listening because that's what for me listening and then I was thinking I have to listen from my heart and then you <laughs> come up with the <laughs> open <laughs> so definitely my that's where I listen from with an open heart a, a, I know that I have a warm generous uh, heart filled with I would say love but compassion let's put it that way so if I open myself to listening and like you said not to um, try and figure out what I'm going to say next but to really drop down into deep listening and deep listening is heartful listening mm -hmm. it has to be an open space for them yeah. to to uh, speak yeah, and I will say a disclaimer because most guests that I interview get the questions in advance. Now, Doreen re really only got the questions like five minutes before this. So this is the true open-hearted, open-minded Doreen. So thank you so much, Doreen. Our next yeah. letter in our courage acronym is you for uniquely you like there's 7.5 plus billion people on the planet each with our own fingerprint but what makes Doreen um, Downing specifically Doreen or uniquely Doreen 
Well, it seems like everything links to the, the question below. You know, what you just said was open and I went to my heart. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I said, that's yeah. uniquely me. And I think all my friends and all the people who have worked with me, all the testimonials I've ever got is how engaging, how warm, and how safe I make people feel. So I think that I embrace people for who they are, accept them. And I think that that's uh, uh, from my heart again. Yeah, and you, you just have a beautiful nature and such a beautiful presence. So kudos to you. You know, I just uh -huh. feel so calm, you know, chatting with you and so connected as well. And um, yeah, you do have that open heart and I just love that. And yeah, that does make you uniquely you. So our next letter, Doreen, is R for relationships. Can you give us one relationship tip to develop real ones? Because there's so many superficial relationships out there. But to develop real relationships, can you share one tip with our audience? Oh, you can't hurry love. Ooh, and the reason, that? the reason why Ooh. I say you can't hurry love, speaking of relationship, is that I didn't get married for the first time until I was 60 years old. Yay! Exciting. Yay. Though. Yeah. Right. And, you know, they say there's no right person for you. And I, I feel like I really waited. <laughs> it just yeah. makes me kind of emotional yeah. I really needed for the right person and I've been we've been together for about 20 years uh, now and it's uh he was the right person still is every single day and so I think I think I think don't settle don't mm -hmm. settle for anything less and it yeah. is a book that was on my shelf you can't hurry love and here I am getting to be oh. 40 Love that. Not married, no yeah. family. Yeah, but yeah. I was doing my business. I was writing a book yeah, and I was yeah. traveling around the world. I was How doing a lot. Beautiful. What a but, lucky man he is, too. But yes. Yeah. 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 And he knows it and then says it. So I, I you can't yeah. hurry. Those and that's who, it. And never take them for granted when you do have that person. Like often you find the right person and then you just let yourself go. It's like, no, like I literally manifested my partner in COVID. Um, I wrote down 101 attributes that I was looking for in a man. And, you know, you're thinking, gosh, how can you do that? Well, my last attribute wasn't physical, but it was wears a scarf. And in his profile, he's wearing a, well, it's called a snood. I didn't know what it was, but I had seen it. But it's basically a tailless scarf. And it's like, wow. And we are just so connected. And, you know, he's never been married before. He's had relationships, but never been married, whereas I have been married. And, you know, marriage is certainly a decision. It's a decision to get married and it's a decision to stay married too. And I do understand you can have real relationships without the formality of marriage. Uh, marriage is just the, like, I guess yeah. the, um, the, you know, certification of a relationship. But, yeah, just, um, yeah, waiting. And I posted about delayed gratification the other day because mm -hmm. we're so much in such an instant gratification world with social media. There's so many messages and, you know, marketing things that come to us. So just, yeah, waiting for the right time, the right person, the right moment. So that's so lovely. Oh, just makes my heart sing, you know, that you waited so long and you found your beautiful partner. So I love that. Now, mm -hmm. Doreen, I said you have such a beautiful soul and nature. You have an amazing attitude. I know you've had some really tough times, you know, with your mom. Um, so how do you maintain an amazing attitude? Uh, I think I just spoke about it. Each one of these seems to be connected, I tell you. It's the fact that I have drawn into my life an amazing human being that hugs me every morning when I get out of bed and uh, is there all day uh, well <laughs> now 24 7 lockdown yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and i tell you what, we are really really enjoying this like being on a, a deserted island yeah. together yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i would say got that four walls is deserted island <laughs> yes, yes i would say that um being able to be loved and loving in return so i think it's the relationship that feeds me every single day 
I would also say, you know, the other things like fresh air and walking and good food and that kind of stuff. But yeah, I think I spoke about groundedness yesterday on my video. Yeah. So yes. Well, we... Nature and vitamin N. Vitamin yes, nature. Yes. Vitamin nature. And you probably saw mine where we were on our boat. Yeah. Yes. If you didn't see it, yeah. take a look my video from yesterday yeah. we get out it's a mahogany old motorboat and uh, you'll see me buzzing around yeah, and uh, a river near the san francisco bay yeah beautiful um you no synchronicities but or no surprises you'll understand this one our next letter is g for grateful doreen so mm. what's one thing today specifically that you're grateful for and again it can be personally or professionally Oh, I, I just say it right now. I'm really grateful for you. Oh. Yeah, just, I feel so present. I feel like you sharing that you found the man with the scarf yeah. <laughs> and that we shared this past 30 days of video challenges and you've learned something about me. I've learned something about you. So the gratefulness, I think, of opportunities to meet new people mm. who are just bright and brilliant and inspiring. And you're one of those. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, I feel very grateful. Thank you, Doreen. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, segueing into our final letter, which is E for enjoy life. You spoke about hopping on the boat yesterday. How do you enjoy life, especially in these interesting times, Doreen? Well, I think I love fresh air. I talked about the mountain that mm -hmm. is just right outside my door. And I think that being able to be in nature is, I, I don't know, I think any of us being in nature brings out more of the nature that is inside of us because we are connected. We're connected to everything. And mm. I would say that even in the city, there's opportunities to even just look up at the sky if you're yeah. surrounded yeah. by and <laughs> exactly like sometimes I just admire the architecture I think wow like oh, yeah. even when I go through Sydney Harbour Tunnel I think what an incredible feat someone has or someone's a lot of people they've designed yeah. it built it constructed it this amazing tunnel underneath the Sydney Harbour like yeah. you know I just marvel at that so there is an opportunity the opportunity to be grateful in anything and and sometimes well I often say not every day is great but I see greatness in every day and I have a gratitude journal that I keep beside my bed and I write five things that I'm grateful for at the end of the night I aim to do it most nights sometimes I slip up if I've been you know prior occupied but yeah mm -hmm. and it just go I go to bed feeling grateful and then I think about the things that I'm grateful for for the day when I wake up and it really does change the wiring of the brain and the neuroplasticity and puts you in a much more grateful more grounded um, state so yeah enjoying life um, it's all connected and yeah that's why I guess I developed my courage acronym because it's it's how I live my life and it's about the connections and communicating and having that open heart and basically yeah. being uniquely you and developing relationships and having that amazing attitude and being grateful and having so much energy. So well, you it... certainly put it all together, just like that. that's wonderful. <laughs> Every single letter and you're able to talk yeah. about it. And yeah. this yeah. morning I had a, a somebody also from our 30 days of video yeah. interviewed me with about my seven step process to mm -hmm. help people overcome their fear. And yeah, uh, it was, it, it, just these meetings that's it is so it, it's I'm grateful and I enjoy meeting people yeah, yeah. and before I used to be you know shy and yeah. introverted I mm -hmm. mean I still am shy and introverted yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm I just so uh you know because I've dropped down into my heart yeah. and I'm open and I have courage to move into yeah. whatever it's going to be who you authentically are and I uh, I know that everything is energy and you touched on that before. We really are all connected. We are all energetic beings. We're spiritual beings in a human body, basically. So, so Doreen, you talked about your seven step system for overcoming fear. How can people best connect with you? Obviously we're on LinkedIn, but what's the best way to connect with you? It's seven. Well, let's see um, the seven step guide, the fearless speaking guide they can find by Doreen, and my name is D-O-R-E-E-N, Doreen, and then seven, the number seven steps, Doreen7steps.com. That's the easiest way, I think, 
doreen7steps.com. It's a great first. It's only, what, a short little guide that's 15 pages with some pictures. So it would give people a good first step that helps them uncover some of perhaps their childhood, you know, connect the dots about what's happening now. And then uh, the one thing I would say about the guide is I don't give any speaking tips. <laughs> every, every single step starts with B. Be still, be present, yes, be yes, softly yes. gazing. So it's you, be yeah. Listening, yeah. be positive, be mm -hmm. connected, and be yourself. So yeah. the, oh, there you go, connected in yourself. We've got a lot of synergies there. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so just closing out, I like to. Well, knowledge is powerful. Applied knowledge is more powerful. Um, Dora. Well, I say Doreen, but you're Doreen. Oh, yeah. If I can say that I correctly. Love yeah. <laughs> Thank you. What is one um, thing about courage you'd in, encourage our listeners to take action on today, right now, or after hearing this podcast? Oh, I would say, I know it's very simple. Take a breath. Mm. Pause, take a breath. And to me, that's the beginning of being present. And then there's the opportunity, like you say, there's gratefulness, there's uh, what you don't want to awareness about what you don't want to fear, but you have yeah. to stop first. So the pause, I think a breath. Yeah. Pause. I love and that. Yeah. It's there. like, take a breath, not a break, but yeah, I love that. Yeah. You know, even if you're sitting in traffic and you're at the lights and you might be thinking, gosh, I'm running late for an appointment when you can go out, just take a breath. Yeah. It really yeah. does change your, your um, mindset and your physiology as well. So Thank you so much, Doreen. It's been a wonderful, heartfelt interview. I've really appreciated it. And um, I will pop your details in the show notes. Uh, we'll get this uh, edited. Well, actually, there's no need for editing. It's been a wonderful interview. But Good. we shall post this in the coming week. So thank you so much. And I look forward to keeping in touch. And all the best for the last two days of hashtag 30 days of videos, my friend. Right. I look forward to seeing what you what you bring tomorrow and the next day. Thank you. So <laughs> Thanks, Doreen. Take okay. care. Uh -huh. Bye bye.